There are many questions to this universe, and our own existence as humans is arguably among the most important questions one could ask, and yet it is also one of the most complex to answer. Whichever way you look at this issue there are really only two choices at your disposal. First, life evolved over million and billions of years from far galaxies and stardust, and by random chance you came to existence. Second, you and other forms of life were created by an intelligent personal being just a few thousand years ago, and your life has meaning. Evolution is taught in elementary school science as well as higher institutes of learning as a matter of fact, and not a theory, but is this so? It comes as a shock to many people that the so-called science is nothing but a theory with a host of speculations that cannot stand the test of time and by no means does it pass the scientific method to be qualified as a fact. Also, many proponents of evolution theory tend to be very militant, and unaccommodating of any other view contrary to evolution, by dismissing them as non-scientific myths and mythologies. Any thought or view such as an intelligent creator as the cause of life, is usually summed up among these mythologies, and vehemently discarded as unfit for scientific caliber nor discussion. Therefore, many young and curious minds are left with no hope of a different perspective, not only about their origin but that of the universe and all of existence as a whole, and so it happens that the only view that is allowed in schools textbooks for explanation of the origin of life is none other than, evolution theory. This has been taught extensively for decades as the only viable scientific best explanation for existence of life. Evolutionists speculate that life gradually evolved from mere hydrogen, in a series of stages. These series of stages are also known as chemical evolution. According to them, there are three stages in an evolution of life, and we shall mention them briefly. First stage began about 15 billion years ago with the Big Bang, or if you like, a very loud explosion of chemicals, which produced an expanding cloud of hydrogen. Given time and energy, hydrogen evolved into all the other chemical elements. Then, about 4 billion years ago, the Earth's atmosphere consisted of methane, ammonia, hydrogen, and water, from which life would inevitably come from. In the second stage, it is believed that simple chemicals from stage 1 formed the small organic molecules essential to life, such as amino acids, sugars, and nucleotides. Finally, in stage 3, chemical evolution process included the stringing together of small organic molecules into long chain-like molecules called polymers. The most important biological polymers put simply are sugars, proteins, and DNA. After these three stages it is assumed that life was found in a prehistoric pond, or soup, where life began to evolve from the so-called simple bacteria to complex organisms, such as a cow, fish, and humans. Please note. None of this process was observed nor retrieved from any record, but they are taught as science for the existence of life, despite them being only assumptions. Charles Darwin who is hailed by many evolutionists as the father of evolution, authored among other books, on the origin of species, by means of natural selection, or the preservation of favored races in the struggle for life. Please take note of the title of the book, and you will be shocked with the realization that the father of evolution believed, that those races of people who live in less developed parts of the world, say Africa, Asia, or South America are less evolved than those who live in a more civilized parts of the world. In other words, they unlike their counterparts are not fully evolved into humans. Furthermore, Darwin taunted that, through natural selection, men became superior to women. He even went farther to illustrate that women were not only psychologically inferior to men, but also physiologically. This he cemented by classifying males as Homo frontalis, and females as Homo parietalis. In a nutshell, evolutionists speculate that life originated from non-life substances about 15 billion years ago. Therefore, there is no reason or rhyme as to why things happen the way they do. It is evolution at its best. Things such as war, corruption, theft, 
and other vices are but a process of the survival for the fittest, for according to evolution it is all about the survival for the fittest. The ends justify the means. This ideology far from being scientific, undermines human value, dignity, and intellect. It reduces intelligent beings like you, to a mere group of organisms and collocation of atoms that purposelessly roam this earth, to coexist with other animals and then freeze to cold death afterwards. Though we are only going to scratch the surface, it is important that you comprehend the following scientific facts and principles. Evolution is a theory that when tested scientifically, logically fails to stand, but poorly crumbles as mere speculations, in a sea of amounting scientific evidence. Here we shall only mention four. First, it is a known scientific fact that life only comes from living matter. In other words, you cannot by any means known to human, get life from a non-living matter. This axiom just clearly demonstrates how weak and unscientific the foundation of evolution is, for they claim life comes from non-life material. Second, the laws of information science posit that information is a product of an intelligent mind, because any time you trace information it leads you to the one who first thought about it, its creator. If you give nature a million years, it will never write a computer program to execute the simplest command anywhere, for this requires a software engineer. The building blocks of life are vastly complex, with DNA and RNA that have intelligent information, that are far complex than any human-made system, which cries out loud as evidences of their creator. Third, the law of decay simply shows that given time, say 1000 years, matter does not become complex nor fit for life, but just the opposite. Contrary to many who think that in the grand scheme of million of years, natural process will produce more sophisticated species. Time is against evolution. Elements that are necessary for life are destroyed by time. This can be observed in a matter of days not years. How contrary to known facts is this ideology? Fourth, causality. Since there is complex life in this universe which include tiny bacteria that are vastly complex than any man-made invention, it's only logical to conclude, that the first cause of life must have life and is by any measure far complex and intelligent than his creation. In addition, only intelligent personal being could create other personal, and non-personal beings. How about carbon and radiometric dating? These dating methods are at the heart of evolution. However, they are only reliable when they are used to estimate few years and not millions of years. They are also loaded with these assumptions which time forbids us to delve farther. These three assumptions are 1. The initial conditions are known. 2. The system is closed from interference, and 3. The radioactive decay rate has remained constant. In the case of the initial conditions, no scientist can ever be sure as to what they were, because no scientist was present here on the Earth at its origin. Thus, the amount of daughter isotope that has been derived from the parent isotope, by radioactive decay is unknown. Furthermore, natural disasters such as earthquakes and volcanoes can make rocks in a matter of hours or days, hence the second assumption crumbles. Finally, the rate of decay is assumed to be constant, but a change in environment has proven to speed or slow reactions of elements. It is fallacious to assume constant rate of decay. Therefore, no one can say with any surety that a rock is a million years old when the dating methods themselves are unreliable for measuring such periods of time. There are many studies on the reliability of this dating method which proves radiometric dating and carbon dating are unreliable, in this respect. For example, a study on volcanic rock which was known to be less than 39 years, dated 2.4 million years based on radiometric dating. To the surprise of many who think science is against intelligent design, they will find out that there is monumental evidence for an intelligent design that a simple child can attest to, by mere observation. It makes sense the universe and all its inhabitants are existing because a caring intelligent God created them, for the evidence is overwhelming. In addition, 
This perspective regards humans as intelligent, moral beings who are destined for greatness, and purpose in this life and beyond. This is far different from evolution, which by its own attestation, demeans human value, as we have already noted. You might think, how about dinosaurs? Well, time forbids us from stretching farther, that is for another video.